Well, I can hear some of you right now. You're like, uh, Jill, why would I want bats flying around my house? Well, they have a bad rap. They don't suck blood and they don't get in your hair. However, they do do some really awesome stuff. They can eat up to 1,200 insects an hour. That's 6,000 insects a night. Imagine how many less pesticides you would need with just one bat, let alone several. They can be great for your garden and your yard because their poop is fantastic fertilizer. They distribute seeds as they eat fruit and they're nighttime pollinators. Okay, so you decided you definitely want bats. What do you need to do to attract them? Your bat house should be at least 10 feet off the ground and ideally 15 to 20 feet. You want to hang it on an east or south facing wall and they prefer wood or stone versus metal. Bats like to stay warm, so you want to hang it where there's at least six to eight hours of sunlight. But they don't like light at night, so don't put them next to a porch light. No matter whether your house ends up being a nursery for the babies or a bachelor pad, you want it to be within a quarter mile from water. And if at all possible, keep it about 20 to 25 feet from a tree that a predator could roost in, like a hawk or an eagle. Finally, you can hang your bat house any time of year, but if you want them to come in the summer, you really need to have it up before early spring. I'm so excited to see who moves into our bat house and how many bugs they eat. For more great tips about how to live sustainably on your property, be sure to drop by bridalsandbreath.com and join our YouTube channel.